everybody, so Shaziz, I'm out here in my uh, new mad science laboratory. I'll give you a quick look around, but uh, this video is about, I got a uh, nifty package from my, bro uh, my buddy uh, Ryan over there at Abrams Lab. If you guys haven't subscribed to Ryan's channel, you need to go over there and check out his fr uh, friend Terry Woodruff and... Uh, there's a few other good guys that I'll put some links down at the bottom uh, of this video for you, but uh, Ryan sent me uh, this uh, nifty Slayer exciter uh, and coil over here, and uh, before I get to that, I'll uh, give you a peek around my lab. Right down there's a, let me show that on there too. This is the Slayer Exciter circuit that Ryan's been working with. It's a slight uh, modification from uh, G. Bluer circuit and uh, it's a really simple deal there. If you need any help on this, give, uh, give Ryan a call and if you need him to help you get, uh, you get your coil system together, you know, hey, uh, he can help you out with that as well. But uh, he sent this over. I'm going to put this in an 8x10 folder and uh, I'm going to add it to the wall of my lab. But in the meantime, let me see if I can uh, show you around the lab here. Uh, still kind of messy. You notice I got a fireplace over there. All right, so that'll keep me warm in the winter. I got my uh, old uh, lab table and all the uh, stuff from that moved around. And uh, over here we have a power station which is going to range everything from solar to wireless energy and uh, things for the filming purpose, uh, security, everything under the sun. And uh, this may be on a little workstation right here for uh, making my videos and, and stuff like that. And I'll move on down over this direction. If you see uh, along that wall, Go over here. I got my flip flops on. <laughs> anyway, I got some. Uh, I don't even know if I'm even on screen. <laughs> oh, the heck with it. Anyway, I've got some scanners that I'm going to be using for uh, certain purposes to uh, find different frequencies to make sure that everything's all on the up and up on there. I've got uh, rechargeable battery sections and all kinds of uh, new little things with solar and testing equipment. Uh, the 24-hour recorder over here that I'm going to be uh, using to record all my uh, experiments real time and back in this direction over here I got a do 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 here we go I got my uh, welding equipment at the very bottom down there and some more uh, PCs and parts and uh, tons of uh, uh, measuring equipment, uh, some RF generators, uh, some signal tracers, vacuum uh, measurement tools, amp meters, and so on and so forth. On this side over here, I got a nifty old drill press and a workbench right there, which is all messy, and I got to get around to fixing that. But it's going to be nice to have have access to a a drill press where I can get some precision drilling done at least as close as possible gotta clear all this off and get everything going I got my hot plate uh, for certain things like melting bismuth or whatever I got tons and tons of parts uh, uh, potentiometers and variacs and uh, co uh, variable capacitors over along this uh, table right here is going to be my project table which is pretty cluttered up right at the moment gotta get that organized and if you see along this back wall up here uh, and of course up there on the top up there some uh, other uh, other experiments that I need to get back uh, back with but I have uh, capacitors and uh, resistors and transistors and uh, heat uh, resistors all kinds of uh, little nifty gizmos and then that section over there I've got nuts bolts screws wires cotter pins uh, solder just about everything you need out in the lab and zip ties and stuff like that and uh, do 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 let's see what else do I got over there anyway I got tools down in that direction and a lot more space than what I had before 
not all cluttered up like it was back in the in the day let me uh, try to see if I can get this organized again I don't want to have this in the wrong area when I fire up that slayer cider because Ryan was telling me he didn't want to get it too close to uh, to computers <laughs> and so until I get to knowing everything there is to know about the Slayer Exciter, until I get to be as far as where Ryan and them are, then I want to want to exercise some caution and uh, try to uh, improve on this thing a little bit. Um, I see a lot of potential with this circuit. I don't know if you can see that very well because of the light there. I see a lot of potential with this circuit, and you see it's a really Ryan couldn't have set it up any easier. This is where your primary coil goes. This is where your secondary coil goes essentially like that's the antenna on the transmitter right there and uh, man it just doesn't get any easier than that. Ryan did a spectacular job on this and if you guys go over and subscribe to Ryan Abrams over at uh, Lab Tesla Art and his uh, friend Terry Woodruff they're doing some really cool stuff in the Slayer Exciters and like I said there's another friend of mine I just got to talking to here recently I'll put the links in the bottom so there's actually a contest coming up to, that has to do with this right here and uh, there's links on my Google Plus, Facebook and stuff like that to it and I'll keep on putting more links and, and add stuff on there but uh, for right now this circuit right here that Ryan set up uh, he said it'll run all the way up to about 20 volts but uh, right now I just got it running off of a little 9 volt battery and uh, he did a really spectacular job of putting this thing together. I mean, I'm talking what this this guy, you know, he he's an artist. That's all there is to it. You know, to Ryan Abrams, Tesla Art. You know, he's an artist, and he's doing some amazing stuff in wireless energy transmission. And I, I'm going to fire this circuit up to show you. At first, you're going to notice because I've got this uh, this tube here right down in the center. It's taking the field that way. And uh, watch this, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna unplug this or plug this in. Notice it lights right up. And I know for a fact that this nine volt battery right here, it's a rechargeable battery, but it's not completely up to nine volts. Let me uh, turn a little bit of light off on the top here. There we go. All right, but you can see that's already lit up. And I grab a hold of it with my hand there. Woo, look at that. That's pretty neat, man. That's pretty pretty doggone impressive for less than nine volts on a little nine volt rechargeable battery. Uh, let me turn on some other lighting. Oh, this time around, we'll use some solar lighting instead of using the house. It's a little bit dimmer light, I think, but you can still see it pretty good. Anyway, look at that right there. That is that is just quite impressive. Now, I've got a, a few ideas that can be done with this thing right here. I love this circuit. Um, I'm interested in it. Um, I did have, I did notice the difference between the smell of the uh, ozone generated off of this right here. I got a really big nose, I guess. I can smell that. That uh, it's it's kind of different than the average uh, average Tesla coil the way they're run. This is probably closer in the RF range or or uh, you know radio frequency circuits but doggone it look at that hold on let me put I don't want to drop these because I need to use these for the uh, church event tomorrow but uh, here we are we got this long old tube right here I'm back here by the camera and uh, you know hey that's that's doggone impressive man you know I'll stick this down inside there Yee. All right. Well, that's too heavy for that. <laughs> Put that one back down over there, and lay this one back down over here. There we go. I can see why Ryan has so much fun with these things, because they'll just light up anything. Here in the fluorescent bulb range, anyhow. But uh, I got uh, this one particular coil over here. Actually, I got quite a few coils that I want to want to hook to them but this particular coil over here going back and forth trying to make sure I can get a doggone decent picture on there 
This is a yeah, Tesla coil within a Tesla coil. This is a two-in-one. It has uh, built-in capacitor layers, and it has a, uh, a primary that's made out of some really thick aluminum wire that would be going for uh, uh, like your house current, regular house current. And I'm looking to see if I've got something that you can see better on the dog on screen than that. Here. All right, well, either way, you look at that uh, video, that this coil right over here, you can see that's pretty much the same stuff, maybe just slightly thicker. But uh, that's aluminum uh, wire from the house that I use for primaries. And this coil right here that I did the death ray video on, it's uh, actually the same kind of coil as this. It also has built-in capacitor layers on it. I'm going to make an attempt to... Uh, energize those with the Slayer exciter and see what I can come up with that but uh, in the meantime hey that's my lab I can get a little bit more done in there I've got a couple storage rooms behind those that door there and and that door there and I still got a whole bunch down the hall I still got a, a lot of stuff left in the old lab that uh, Probably isn't really as, as significant as uh, what I've got going on over here. I can work on my plasma technology uh, in conjunction with this wireless energy stuff. And I got plenty of room to do it. Hopefully, get you some really good videos out of all this stuff. And so, you know, with that said, um, yeah, take a, go over there, like I said, take a look at uh, Ryan's work that he's doing over there with the uh, with the Slayer Exciter. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I've been messing around with uh, Tesla's wireless energy uh, technology for quite some time and a lot of different stuff that has to do with Tesla. And these uh, little Slayer Exciters are really, uh, they're exciting. <laughs> What can I say, man? You know, you got uh, wireless energy right there, and it can be expanded on. There's so much that you could you could do with it. And so, with that said, I'll see what I can do with it. And man, I don't know what else to say. There's a, there's a quick peek around my lab. There's the uh, plasma reactor that uh, I'm going to try to bring back alive going to take a little surgery because I don't know if you've seen any of my videos but it's got some major uh, cracks in it because I got a little too much power into it but uh, then there's some old uh, that's the old generator that I started off with way 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 back this is made out of microwave oven transformers and up there is the I don't know if you can even see that up there I didn't go high enough did I Arr. Way up there at the top, that's the uh, generator that's made out of the fish tank air pumps. And that's one of my plasma reactors. And I got some new projects coming around. So, I hope you all stay tuned because there's a lot of good people coming together in this alternative energy community. Uh, Russ from RWG Research, man, I can't even say enough about him. He's amazing. And uh, Muddy over there at uh, Green End and uh, Home. Uh, my friend Muddy Muddy Mud, man. <laughs> and then uh, there's, uh, there's so many good folks out there. Um, doggone it, my brain won't stick around long enough to, uh, to, to list them all off. But, um, man. Who else did I want? I want to mention everybody is what I want to do, but I just can't remember everybody's doggone name right now. I'll just start putting links everywhere because uh, just follow any one of these uh, people in this group that I'm talking about working in alternative energy, and they'll show you. If you're interested in Bedini, they'll find somebody who's uh, doing Bedini. If you're interested in Tesla or you know any of the other guys out there, all these guys have researched all this stuff and um, they're just incredible. It's just a vast amount of combined knowledge that uh, has come together and working on stuff like this right here. I mean, come on folks, look at this. This is a tiny, tiny little circuit. I mean, it's just so, so, so cool. 
without uh, having big old neon sign transformers. You don't need all that breakout. I mean, it's cool. Yeah, if you guys want to see how far you can shoot the lightning bolts, that's all good. But the uh, real deal is uh, learning now, learning about how frequencies actually work, you know. Learning about what uh, wireless energy transmission was uh, meant to do to begin with. I got a whole lot of different theories that kind of buck the system, but what did I do? Did I kill that one? I don't know. He's, she's this still alive. Must bad battery must be getting really super low. I don't know. Let me try a different battery and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that battery wasn't quite nine volts to begin with. So hey, there's one laying on the table. I haven't even tested this one. Let's see if this one's any good. Do 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 do. short somewhere. Ta-da! Huh. I just picked the old battery up off the table there. I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh, well I guess it helps if the snap's on there. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I also wanted to make one more little test because I was interested whether that was AC current or what. got these uh, AC testers. That's not picking it up. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh-oh. What did I do? figure that out later. Anyway, in the meantime, check out Ryan's work. He's an artist. I got so much to say, folks, but I'm already way over 17 minutes, so I'll just say peace and love, and y'all take care. Stay tuned.